Hello and welcome to the Energy Connect studio at Adifet 2023. I'm thrilled to have sitting next to me Matt Jones, Minister, Alberta's Canada's Job, Economy and Trade. Matt, so thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. Now, can you tell me more about Alberta, um, the importance of you being here and uh, how have you had, how's the show gone for you so far? Uh, Alberta is uh, based in Canada. It's a province in Canada. We're we have the fourth largest oil reserves. We're a top five natural gas producer. So obviously Adipec, uh here in Abu Dhabi, uh, it's an amazing opportunity to share our story with the world. We believe we have a world-class energy sector and it's great to meet other jurisdictions. That's really good to hear, Matt. And uh, I want to touch on the importance of growing a hydrogen economy. Um, what's Alberta doing in that regard? Yeah, certainly everybody I've met with at the conference has been talking about opportunities in blue and green hydrogen. Uh, with Alberta, we, we sit on a massive mm. uh, natural gas basin. Uh, we're a low cost producer, so we also see tremendous opportunity to, to continue providing the world with energy, but while reducing emissions. And uh, we're already producing two and a half million tons of hydrogen, uh, and we've got the world's largest net zero hydrogen facility uh, coming to us. It's an air products facility. Uh, so we see tremendous opportunities um, to take our knowledge and expertise mm -hmm. that we've developed in yep. our active hydrogen industry and to, to share that with, with the world. That's really good to hear, Matt. And uh, the other technology we keep on hearing about is carbon capture. Um, also, like to get your viewpoints of that and what the opportunities you see in uh, carbon capture. Absolutely. It's been very interesting to hear other countries' plans for carbon capture, yeah. utilization, and storage. And again, Alberta is already doing this. We already have two world-class projects running, which have sequestered 10 million tons of CO2 in the ground already. Um, so uh, we're exploring additional carbon yeah. capture uh, uh, hubs around Alberta. 28 are under consideration. We have very favorable geology. So, mm -hmm. uh, and and um, our, our top uh, oil producers are collaborating on what would be the largest carbon capture project in the world. It's called the Pathways Alliance. Yeah. And if, if that was built, it would uh, it create opportunities to sequester 22 million tons uh, of carbon per year. That's very impressive. And uh, I just wanted to touch on you know, the, the importance of collaboration. You just mentioned there, I um, mean, that big project potentially coming up on Pathways. How important is that? And how do you facilitate that within Alberta with collaboration between industry and government? Yeah, so we certainly collaborate uh, in Alberta with our industry because the government does not own, uh, the government owns, uh, the people own the resource, but it's extracted and, and produced and transported by private entities. Uh, same with our electricity generation, all of our generators are private, they're not state owned. So there's lots of uh, industry and government collaboration in Alberta. But uh, I think it's critical for, for countries around the world to collaborate because I've just shared with you some of the things we're doing. There's very interesting and innovative things that other countries are doing. And the only way that we can successfully um, uh, transition our energy sector is by sharing those innovations, by sharing our experience and our learnings so that we can all be better together. That's really good to hear, Matt. And just before we go, um, are you optimistic then, having you know, come down back and heard these conversations, you know, where the energy sector is going? I am optimistic because what's clear and it's been made clear over the last few years is the importance of energy security and energy affordability so we're always going to have a robust oil and gas sector that continues to reduce emissions but we are also seeing exciting opportunities in things like hydrogen and carbon capture utilization and storage and uh, you know i'm here on behalf of our premier daniel smith uh, we are going to pursue all of these things uh, with our world-class uh, expertise brilliant well matt i really appreciate giving me your time on this busy day at adipet Thank you for the interview. Thanks everyone for watching, and I look forward to bringing more studio interviews from the show floor in the coming days.